everyone. I'm uh, Felicia here. I'm a licensed financial planner for Wealth Ethics Advisory. Uh, I'm actually having a degree in accounting uh, and also I have more than 10 years working experience in uh, accounting line. Uh, Besides that, I also having a CFP and also IFP qualification. Throughout my accounting uh, journey in the corporate world, in fact, I do realize that uh, as an accounting person, I shouldn't actually, I thought I would, wouldn't actually uh, have something like financial mistake, like paying a very high interest and things like that. But in fact, I actually um, having all that mistake throughout my journey of, in uh, accounting life. So that also made me feel I wanted to further study, especially in uh, financial planning. So that's why I go and take part-time study of two years to into the Certified Financial Planner program. So um, after I graduate from the CFP program, in fact, I don't really have a guide to actually go into the financial planning industry. But uh, one of my classmates actually told me that uh, since you already have the qualification and also in fact in Malaysia there's actually less than 1,000 CFP holder that actually go into this industry so why don't you contribute your effort back to the society so in fact that actually made me to move on and quit my job and really go into this financial planning industry in fact a lot of people don't understand why I actually quit my stable job and come into financial planning industry so uh, what I wanted to tell them is that okay, in fact I do um, enjoy whenever people actually tell me a lot of uh, feedback after my meeting with them. For example, I do have a client that first time when I meet him, he's actually having a deficit cash flow. That means it's actually negative, okay, which he didn't realize it at all. Okay, So after I went through the meeting, I also give him some example and also some alternative to give him to improve the cash flow. So on the second meeting itself, he is the one to come and tell me, in fact, you actually gave me a lot of idea and also let me sit well currently. Okay, so that's what is that's the feedback that actually motivate me to go far and also more wanted to contribute more to the society. Whenever we meet uh, some clients, they often ask us uh, a lot of information in the financial planning. So that actually made me realize that in fact in Malaysia itself, we don't have a financial literacy knowledge, especially um, from how to saving, okay, or in terms of cash flow management. So all these things is actually something that we can be improved together. So um, what I actually urge you all is uh, by engaging a financial planner, in fact, you can actually have peace of mind. Okay. So do talk to a licensed financial planner and we will be able to assist you to make sure that your life priority will be achieved even though you have a very limited resources in hand.